Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is Torment. It's been a while, and I say those exact words every single time that I start the video. I've noticed a very, very strict chain of a beginning when it comes to me in my videos. The last video I did, I had a quick look before I did this video, uh, or started recording this video, and it was, it just said over a year ago. So God knows how long it was actually done. I didn't. I didn't bother going too uh, too much into it. But uh, here we are, a year later, from 2019 to 2020. Um, I still expect the same amount of views. So if anyone that is subscribed to me that still, you know, watches my videos from here and there, um, you'll see that this is a a normal gameplay commentary. Nothing much has changed. No special editing effects. No script. Just me talking for the next six minutes, which is great. You know, who, who doesn't love an English guy talking for six minutes? Um, so yeah, without further ado, this game is Gears 5, and I had to think about that then. <laughs> um, this is the first Gears game I've ever fully played. Um, oh no, actually, that's a lie. I think I played... Maybe the second or third one on Xbox, years and years ago, at, um, my cousin's house. I, I don't, I don't know, um, but I know I have played it beforehand. But this is the first uh, Gears game I fully own myself. Thoughts? Um, by the way, this isn't a um, you know a actual review or anything like that of Gears. Um, I've played very little of it, so I don't really have any deep review when it comes to it. But um, Thoughts so far, or first impressions? <clears throat> Gameplay solid. Kind of, uh, kind of hard to master. I'm still, I'm still learning that aspect. Uh, I'm still kind of fumbling around with the controls as well. For this, um, obviously, this is the only time I've actually played it, which is on PC. Um, so the controls on PC are quite clunky in my eyes. I don't know how they would be on, obviously, the Xbox or anything like that. I'm, you know, I'm assuming they'd be much more fluid in a sense. Um, it just does feel kind of, kind of stiff on the mouse and keyboard. Uh, again, all I've got to really do is plug in a controller, and I'll, I'll try and figure that out um, and see if there's any difference. Oh, this is my little three-piece here, I believe. That's two. Yeah, there's my three-piece. I was, I was a beast. I popped off then. Absolute beast I am, <laughs> but yeah. So I hope you guys, you know, are all doing okay. Even though no one's going to answer back on that one. Uh, if anyone, you know, remembers me, pop a, you know, comment in the comment section below. Uh, this is probably going to be another reoccurring thing where I upload this video, and depending on the uh, quote-unquote how many views I get. I may upload another one. Um, again, I've said that line way too many times to count, and I never follow through. So I think most of my my uh, viewer base has run away. <laughs> um, anyways, so yeah, it's 2020. Uh, COVID. Apparently, you can't say that word on YouTube, or because uh, it gets demonetized or removed. I don't I actually don't know which one. Probably demonetized, but you know, hey. Well, isolation's always fun, and for gamers, not much has changed. Um, however, you know, I never really went out beforehand. Um, I am a gamer myself. Just kind of slowing down the older I get. I'm 25 now. But, um, you know, when you get told you can't go out, you kind of, you know, automatically assume that you've got a million places you can now be and go to, even though you have no real reason to go to them, it's just being told, you know, stay home. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm bored out of my mind. Uh, I can't tell you how many games I've probably bought on Steam, and also probably refunded on Steam, and that is something I'll always give props for, for Steam, is the refund system. I don't think I've ever been rejected a refund from Steam. Obviously, there are limits. You know, I believe the limit is two hours of gameplay and uh, before two weeks of uh, the initial purchase. If you meet that criteria, they can give you a full refund. 
uh, of the game if you obviously purchase it through Steam directly and can be put onto your card or your Steam wallet. Uh, this game I don't think I'll be refunding, funnily enough. This is one that I'm probably going to stick to. But the likes of Daisy, which I tried, that's a no. Uh, Daisy's a terrible game. <laughs> um, uh, sorry if I offend anyone with that comment. Absolutely hate games like that. And there were so many other games. I actually think I bought the uh, Master Chief Collection. Or I may have just bought Halo Reach, I think I believe. I, I, yeah, no, I believe I just bought Halo Reach. I played a few missions on that. I looked for a few people online. And I think I spent about a good half hour trying to, you know, get into an online lobby. Which didn't happen. So, that got refunded. I mean, to be fair, I could have waited a few days. Wait till the weekend come through, see if anyone's online. Because I do like Halo games. Don't get me wrong. Um... But yeah, if, if a game's dead, there's, there's no point in playing it. Anyways, there's my rambling. Uh, we've got about a minute left into the video. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, leave a comment. No matter what the comment is, leave a comment. It'd be nice to see my actual you know, YouTube notifications pop up saying someone's left a comment on your video. That's, that's always a nice thing. Um, and if you guys don't want to see any more videos, of course, just let me know. If I have the time I will, probably won't, but you know, if I get in that really good mood like I am right now, I probably will upload something else, who knows what it'll be, I don't really play much these days, I'm quite boring to be fair, but anyways, thank you very much for watching guys, um, rate, comment, subscribe, and as usual, I'll see you all probably next year.